One sec, it's only myself today and John. I guess was going to call me, but I don't know where he is. Morning, Fudge Face. Morning, Fudge. Morning! Morning, they are. Swinging salmon, doing his swinging thing, and John316, ok. <laughs> Couple of holes dug today, been here about 10 minutes. Uh, Vicky Penny, 1862. Not a bad start to the day. I'm a knob. I, I mean, that's not nice. He has a week off, comes back and calls me a knob. Hey? Hey! Don't, don't ignore me. Hey? Have you got have you got a week's worth of insults to catch up on or what? Never mind. <laughs> I know you don't know what I'm on about. Anyway, as I was saying, being very rude, Simon. As I was saying, uh, uh, Vicky Benny, not bad neck when it's all scrubbed up, but um, first signal of the day. So keep watching for your secret word for your name and lights. I'll do the name and uh, lights in a bit. And show you my nice present off Lee Giggity Biggity Giggity Bird, which he sent me this week. I, I did put a picture online, but uh, I'll show you it in reality in a bit. Okay, loves, I'll see you at the next double dinger. Hello again, Fudge Cakes. Been here about, what, oh, 15 minutes now? Just another coin. Uh, I haven't even taken this one out of the oil. It looks like a penny. Looks in quite a good nick on this side there. And you can see, let's pull him out. Oh dear. Look at that, 1896, absolute belter that is, that is absolutely, absolutely mint condition, that, that's actually a keeper, I think, I don't know if you can see the detail on that, but it's awesome, so that'll go in my finds tin there, that was sent to me, I don't know if you can see that, it says fudging finds, that came off Lee Biggity Giggity Biggity Bird, he made a little special penny centrepiece there, 1967, which is uh, 10 years before I was born, but he nearly got it right. Um, but no, that's that's a belter, that is. I'll uh, take a photograph of that, uh, stick it on the video. That's absolutely mint condition. 1896, there you go. So, hopefully, plenty more double dingers, and I'll see you at one of those. Well, my loves, can you guess what it is? Half an hour here now. It's not a full face. It's a half face. It's a half silver face. But the streak continues. Uh, little sixpence. Nineteen. Uh, what? Nineteen thirty-three. There we go. So that can go in little finds bag. I'm glad I come here. Um, really, in the middle of all these trees, miles away from John and Sam, and we're way over there. Um, I don't know if you can see them, I won't zoom in because the picture goes a bit rubbish. But yeah, silver. Well, 50% silver, but I'm happy with that anyway. So I'll tell them the good news in a bit. My silver streak continues. You wouldn't think it here. Hard digging where I am, but uh, you know, silver's a silver, whichever way you look it. So I'll see you at the next double thing. Ta-ra, loves. There we go for love. Fudge cakes. Hey? I'm not chasing a butterfly. Only a gay looking person would chase a butterfly. <laughs> Come around this tree. There used to be a house here apparently, not down a couple of years ago, an old farm. We've done around here before, but um, getting to know the garret now. I've just dug this out between iron and coke and everything, getting used to the signals. 1904, little penny. Not bad nick at all. So we'll stay and persevere around here. Right, love. It's not a million degrees, is it? It's probably 14. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot. And where's Simon gone again? Don't let me get that, but Simon. <laughs> Simon detecting uh, what's it out from Star Trek again. Where's he gone? <laughs> I, I can't see him anywhere. He's gone. He's done one again. Anyway, fudge cakes. I'll uh, see you next double dinger. Hopefully, uh, for more silver or gold from either of us would be nice. Gold would be extremely nice, anyway. Almost a year. In fact, you had your last gold when I went on holiday last year. Anyway, love, see you at the next double dinger. ta -ra. Right, love. All right. Uh, you're having a nice, well-earned rest, aren't you? Are you knackered? You've only been here 20 minutes. 
<laughs> it's a million degrees still. It's not cooled down under the shade. <laughs> you're, like, you're a moth. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I've just flipped my clod over. <laughs> I said my clod. <laughs> but there you go, still sitting there. Vicky Penny. Oh. I found it straight away, I didn't have to search at all, did I, John? Straight away. <laughs> There we go. It's cracking neck again. It's another one for the giggity biggity giggity biggity biggity giggity biggity biggity giggity bird. Lee! <laughs> 1898 this one. Mint condition, I haven't hit this one with a spade. And if you do, if you watch the John 316's video later on, if him digging his Vicky up, you'll see a nice shiny part on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did a very successful job of that then. <laughs> oh God, I think this million degrees is getting to me. <laughs> it is, it is hot. Can't grumble. Anyway, another penny. So another double dinger. I don't think Simon's materialised over there. They, they've beamed him back down. <laughs> so I'll see you at the next double dinger. To our loves. Hello again, Fudge Cakes. Uh, coming to a different field. I've just walked about a quarter of a mile with a couple of signals, a load of rubbish, and uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's just sticking out there. Now, there's a chance this could be silver, so I haven't done anything with it yet. Apologise for the wind again. It seems as we get up here in Staffordshire, it's the wind. But anyway, we'll persevere. So uh, hopefully, it's uh, well, I'd say, looking at that. Silver sixpence, but I could be wrong, it could be a, a modern one pence, but let's have a look, shall we? Oh, come on, there we go. Well, it's black, so that's a good sign. Black means that it's tarnished. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you can see that, that's definitely Young Bun Victoria. Definitely. Let's get it out of the. Uh, I'll tell you something, it's stuck. Uh, there we go. There we go, what have we got there? A nice little silver sixpence. Um, oh, to apologise. Looks like it's been... Uh, it's not bad nick at all, that one. Can't really see a date on it at the moment, but I shall have a look in a bit. But there we go. Second silver of the day. Nice little... Uh, Victoria young one there. Hold on. I'll just see if I can before I turn the camera off See if I can see with my poor degraded eyesight No, I can't see I can hear Simon shouting behind me, but There we go anyway So, anyway, them pair shouting over there, but yeah, sixpence, I can't, I can't make a date out, it looks like it's been bashed on the edge there, but anyway, middle 1800s, I would say, not bad nick at all, it just looks like it's been uh, caught by the plough, sorry if I'm boring and waffling on, I'm still trying to see if I can see a date, but I can't. There we go anyway. So hopefully I'll see you at the next double thing. A couple of shout outs and there'll be a name in lights coming up very shortly. To all of Hello Fudge Cakes. I haven't filmed for a while. I've come to another field. And John and myself, Simon's disappeared again. Um don't normally film buttons, but that's quite nice. Big. But uh I'd say there's some age to it. It's quite a nice button, quite a huge button, nice shank on the back. So I thought I'd show you that. Uh, little pistol ball I had earlier. Oh, nice little Vicky Silver there again, look. Uh, little buckle. Bigger buckle from earlier, that's quite old. Um, what else? A ring thing. Medieval thing. And uh, that is a medieval pot stand, or leg, whatever you want to call it. But uh, that's old, so we've got some age in these fields. So I just thought I'd bring you up to date in my little tin there that uh, Lee Giggity Biggity Biggity Giggity Biggity Bird made for me. 
for gene finds how about that anyway so hopefully there'll be a few more dingers and double ones at that before we go home and uh, i'll see you at the next don't forget the shout outs and the secret word which will be coming up soon or the code word should i said anyway i'll see you at the next double dinger to our loves hello again my little loves uh, right in the corner of the field here as you can see uh, a few weeks ago manda 317 had a, a, an ampulla from just over there, just the corner over the other side of the field there. Uh, I've just had this. Don't know what it is. It looks looks possibly with the catch at the top there that it might have been a, a brooch or a hair slide or something. I don't know. Any ideas? Let me know. Uh, then I've just come up to the corner of the field here, like I say. And that is a George First half penny. We, me and John have had a look at it. And we can just about make out 1717 on the back, so it's just shy of 300 years old, which isn't bad. Nice bit of age to the field, nice brown uh, patina on there. Happy with that. So I'll put it in my uh, box of tricks that I found today, and I'll carry on. And hopefully, before the sun goes down, it'll be going down a bit later tonight because we're on the first day of summer. Clocks went to. Uh, forward last night so we're all a bit extra tired today so hopefully um i'll see you at the next double dinger to all loves right fudge cakes hey get off my silver line <laughs> just flip me coil, coil over i've just shown you that coin that um george first put me clod back swung again and this was in there same old but this is a Charles the Second, 1660s, uh, shilling. Third silver of the day. I'm well happy today. <laughs> Charles the Second, shilling, 1660s, silver face again. So I want a triple silver today, me loves. And I'll see you at the next double dinger. Tura. We're out, loves. Anyway, John's just found the cartwheel penny. You know, the elusive cartwheel, well, it's elusive if your name's Simon Davies, because he's never found one. John's found one today, I haven't found one today, but I've found loads before. Simon, of course, there's never found a cartwheel, Penny. Nothing, love, I'm just explaining how nice the countryside and everything is. Not not mentioned the cartwheel, Penny, at all, don't don't worry about it. I've, I've said nothing about cartwheel, I've nothing. <laughs> it's just a coin. You go in your own little world. Tell me when you're coming back. Anyway, just just uh, found that. That gave me my last little pistol ball I had from earlier. Nice little musky ball. So John's had that. So uh, today, right? Today, that, 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 that my piece of paper. So I've got. Um, let's have a look. I've got to do the name of the lights today. So remember, if you want one, you know the rules, right? There'll be a word which I'll say in a minute. Yes. And then, uh, if you're the first to uh, mention this word, when I put the video on later, tomorrow, whenever, you're the first to say this word, shut up, I'm talking! Anyway, you're the first to say this word, say this, these words or word, and then you get your name in the lights. Shut up, will ya? <laughs> so we've got, this week, we've got, um, we've got Matty Lad, Ma Matty, Ma Matty Lad, from Barry, South Wales. I don't know what Barry's doing in South Wales anyway, but it's Matty lad that we're talking about. A couple of shout outs this week. I don't know if you can hear me because it's a bit windy. Well, you shut. I tell you something. It's like having a naughty kid with you. Martin Greengrass. I've given him a shout out. He's keeping on time with his videos. Yeah, so watch uh, the green grass. He's a good lad. And we've got um, Sammy Jane Nye for Hammy Sammy from Northeast Metal Detectories. Yes. Right, we've got John Fowler again, Jackie Smith again, and the green grass, which Simon just mentioned, which I was going to mention anyway. So if you want to shout out, let me know next week. Apologise for the wind again. How's your uh, cartwheel, John? Massive, mate, massive. Nah, no, it's nice, nice signal, isn't it, to cartwheel? You can't miss it. You, you pick the signal up from a cartwheel from a mile away. You've got to be a rubbish detectorist to miss a cartwheel, haven't you? Speaking of which, that anyway. <laughs> so, hopefully, there'll be another double dinger. So, name and lights, and your word this week, what word shall we use? Um, 
Andy Pandy. Have you got that? Andy Pandy. So, see the next double dinger. Ta-ra, loves. Just a quickie, loves. Dug an hole next to me musket ball. I think I might have caught that slight with a spade here. Young born Vicky Victoria. Penny. There we go. Ta-ra. On your line again, love. I do apologise. <laughs> see you next double dinger. Ah, right, love. Right. God, you're tall, <laughs> aren't you? Sure. You're massive. A really deep hole. Yeah, I'm standing in a massive hole. You can see that's the edge of it there. It's a massive hole. <laughs> oh, just dropped me cover. There we go. Just, just done that. It's half penny. No, it's not even. I thought it might have been a Vicky, but it's in it. It's like a Georgie Porgy. Little half penny. Quite a good neck. Another double ding it. Let's go for me other double dingers. Anyway, Lee Giggity Biggity Giggity Bird, thanks very much for the ten, but can you do me a bigger one, please? <laughs> if you don't mind, mate. Must be a good luck charm today, this ten must, mate. So anyway, it's getting late. Another couple of three hours left, yeah? <laughs> Six o'clock, oh. Another couple of three hours left, yeah? <laughs> John's called because he left his car and the goats in the car. Lost, lost some blood. Lost some blood and everything. Simon's over there. Where is Simon? He's, he's over there again now. <laughs> see the next double dingo loves to Hello, fudge faces. I'm sure it's nearly home time now. Just uh, come up to the top of the little hill here. There's Johnny Boy over there. Simon's over there. Just the top of his head. <laughs> uh, anyway, just dug this. I don't know if you can see, but it appears to be. I don't know where. Uh, I don't know if it's more than one coin or, or what are you? Anyway, there's one. I would say I'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, probably George III, knowing everything else that's come out of here. Uh, and number two. I don't know, that's probably a George III, I don't know. Two coins there. I don't know if there's any more. I'll uh, just move everything out the way and just have a look, see if uh, there's any more in there. Just two so far, but no, it looks like just the two. Probably George Thirds, are they? No. No. George. Two. George two. No, George three. George three. George three, mate. George three. And... The left face, eh? Left, eh? With a big, big bounce, bouncy wig on top of his head. George four. George Four, that one. George Three and George Four. That's all. A couple more coins to the day. Me fudging finds ten. A couple of coins and same all, mate. You'll have to get a big fine. Anyway, we'll see you at the next. Cow tube. I'm very happy today, are you, Simon? What? You carry on, you carry on. You've got a crashing ton. You've got a crashing ton. No, that's a good crisis. I know. Yeah. Well, it's bloody, it did go a bit dark when you found that quad wheel penny, to be fair, and that's where it goes. Oh, that's all right. That's not very nice. <laughs> Alright, my little fudge cakes, time's kicking on now. Simon's over there, John's way over there. There you go. Me fudging finds, me fudging finds today. I'll tell you something, it's full. Look at that, silvers and 
silvers and all sorts and buckles and musket balls and well, I don't know lots of stuff anyway so yeah I'm making his way back to the car now it's ticking on it's getting late just uh, flip me clod over and there we go looks very good very good Nick another Georgie George fifth Benny I found lots more coins today, but I just haven't bothered filming them all. You can see they're all in there, lots and lots and lots and lots of them. Um, but just uh, the video will go on forever and ever and ever if I, I film them all. So hopefully there, there might be another double dinger on the way home. Might be silver, might be gold. You never know. I, know I, I would like Simon and John to find a silver or a gold today. Um, but yes, yeah, been a very good day. Make his way back to the car. It's getting incredibly cold, and hopefully you never know. Might be a double dinger if not. I'll see you next week. To all loves.